Hello, what's up YouTube and fellow photographers. Today we'll talk about landscape and how to enhance your the details in the images that you've taken already. With me, I took a landscape of a picture of a river and some vegetation and the picture was really not good. It was short, I shot it at ISO 800, uh, 1 over 10 and the speed of 1 to 400 second per second and it was not really good. I didn't like it because I should have reduced the ISO the first place but it was not I was standing at a very dark place and I didn't want to increase the light at the time so I what I want to do uh, to begin with this first of all you can do uh, auto enhancing to enhance the photo automatically to it will automatically enhance the picture but if you look at it well the picture is not really uh, uh, been enhanced well so what i want to do i'll click here the drop cap and click the new field adjustment layer then after that i'll come here to the high dynamic uh, reduce the the highlights to get more information the whites then after that you can click the decay sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it depends on on on, on the information that you want to achieve but for me i think it's really not working so it's not working for my favor i'll click here to the levels um i'll reduce a little bit all right just a little bit i'll collapse this come to your color editor and then color editor come here to the basic there's basic advanced and the skin tone i'll come here to the basic there's no skin tone in this picture so in the basic I can see some green. I'll begin with the greens here. So in the greens, I will reduce the lightness. This lightness of the greens, right? I can increase and reduce all the way down. Then I will increase the saturations, right? I can see some refraction on the water now beginning to show up. Then I will also increase the hue, right? The vegetation now can be seen in the picture. All right. After I do that, another thing I'm seeing on the picture is some yellowish. I don't know whether I'm wrong. So what I will do, I will reduce the yellowish. I will also increase the hue so that it can be shown well. Uh, you can increase the saturation so far, but make sure you don't over edit the picture like I'm doing. No, it's not really overdone. Um, the next thing I can see some bluish, but uh, let me check how to. Yeah. So what I'll do, I will increase. I don't even know whether this that bluish I was seeing. I was think I was wrong. Come here to the real blue. Then reduce the lightness. Increase the hue. All right. No, reduce the hue. And increase the saturation. All right. I think the picture has been enhanced a little bit um, you can increase um, you can use this uh, the RGB the other one here if you click it and increase the saturation a little bit it will show you uh, more advanced but make sure you don't overdo this when it comes to saturation it increases the whole the amount of colors in the picture so it, it's very easy to overdo it so if you check the difference of the picture um, before and after you see there's lots of things that have been done in color enhancing and i really hope that you've learned something from this um, if you do uh, click subscribe like and share uh, for those that use adobe products like adobe photoshop and adobe illustrator uh, lightroom uh, lumina neo and other softwares i'll be able to show you all the various things i normally do for these pictures and i hope that you've learned something from this kindly subscribe like comment and show um, let me know what you think about this until next time bye bye